Yeah, as soon as he walks over here. Hi, language. Hey there. You'll okay, find why? I'm very you persistent. Away. But if you want to help Travis, you come talk to me. You've got my attention. I'm always looking for people who know how to handle themselves in dangerous situations. From what I hear, you may fit the bill. I don't mind danger, so long as I get paid well enough. You will be well paid. I can promise you that. Yes. By the way, I'm Edward Deegan. You'll mostly be working for me, but you'll need to talk to my boss first. His name is Jack Cabot. He likes to personally interview everyone I hire. He's careful like that. Come down to Cabot House in Beacon Hill and ask to talk to Jack. I'll let him know you're coming. Special delivery. Usually I find him at Bunker Hill. But this time he was in Diamond City. Off to Cabot House. Yeah, unfortunately, the um, bots here have met an uh, unfortunate fate. Excuse me. Amazing what people just leave lying around like junk. Yeah, maybe. It seems that they have these bots leaving these. This place. This is Cabot House, like it says on the sign. And if you don't know what that is, you're in the wrong place. You should leave before you get yourself in trouble. Let me in. Edward Deegan asked me to come here. Oh, it's you. Good. Come on in. Let's go meet the boss. Boss man. Jack, the new gal is here. One moment, one moment. I just have to. Clearly, I'll need to adjust the mixture. Hello, hello. 
Welcome to Cabot House. I'm Jack Cabot. What is this place? This is my ancestral home. The Cabots have always lived here since long before the Great War. If you're asking what we're still doing here, with Boston in its current sad state, well, that's a story for another time, perhaps. That story we'll soon get it into. Uh, but for now... Edward said you needed to talk to me before he hired me? Yes. Edward finds it tiresome. But I always like to know personally everyone who works for me. Please, have a seat. How about a drink? Edward, the good bourbon, eh? Please, I mean, have a seat. It's amazing. It's as if time itself has avoided this place. Yeah, more or less. Before we get down to business, but, uh, I have a question I like to ask all my new employees. Is this really the time Don't for... Don't interrupt, Edward. The question is this. Do you believe there is other intelligent life in the universe? Oh, my God. Good. Um, I'm not sure there's any intelligent life in the universe. Oh, At least not on this planet. Hey, you joke, but make a good point. Say humans perish from the Earth, as they seem intent upon doing. Say thousands of years from now, a new civilization arose. What would they know of us? Oh. I don't understand what this has to do with anything. I'm sorry if I'm rattling on. I sometimes forget not everyone finds these things as compelling as I do. Welcome to the family. Okay, you're officially hired. Congratulations. That was interesting. <laughs> Good. If you like that kind of thing, you've come to the right place. That's part of the job, by the way. It's best to keep an open mind. Jack may be eccentric, but he's definitely not crazy. The job I got for you is simple. Jack owns a facility north of the city. There's an important package that went missing between there and here. I need you to track it down and bring it back to me. Any questions? Nope. For starters, what's this package I'm looking for? It's a metal case holding vials of serum. You don't need to worry about what it is. Jack needs it for his research. That's all you need to know. You should start at Parsons State Insane Asylum. Don't let the name spook you. It's just a secure building that we're using. We think the courier got ambushed as he was leaving the place. The guards heard gunfire in the distance, but we don't know exactly what happened. Check in with Maria at Parsons. Now if they She's heard the gunfire in the there. distance, she can point you in the right direction. You all said and that. And the package was important. Yep. I'll see you soon with the package. Good luck. Don't get killed on your first job. And the package is important, as they say. Wouldn't it make sense for them to at least see what was going on? like if a bank truck was leaving Fort Knox the guards at Fort Knox said oh we hear gunshots eh no problem but here's a question for you in the comments comments if earth perished all Earth or human civilization went, and aliens found the remnants of what we have. What are the most? What are they most likely to think? What sort of? What sort of conclusions would they get from our culture? From how we lived? Let me know in the comments below. I'm inter interested to see what you have to say. Yeah, I don't want the spawn point for this. They like put you right in 
in this bush. This place is off limits. You'd best move along. What is this place? It's nothing to do with you, that's for sure. Now yes, I what? told you to get moving. I need to know what happened to the missing package. Now. Oh, you must be Edward's new Mrs. Fixit. He sure knows how to pick them. So this package. Pretty sure we know where it is. The guys that shot Ben are holed up in the Parsons Creamery. Just north of here. See, was that so hard? Why so you've you just been waiting it? for me to show up to do something about those assholes. As far as I remember, I don't answer to you. And yeah, we were <gasps> waiting for you. That's your job, to deal with unexpected problems that come up. My job is to make sure nobody gets into this place. That's true. Edward wouldn't have hired me if he thought you could have done the job. You throw in a lot of attitude for the new gal. Guess we'll see Dance soon enough like if it. you're just blowing yes. smoke or not. Dance just like what I said, and you liked what I said. I guess you like some shade. We're gonna be headed north to the creamery. And we'll finish up. So unfortunately I can't use grenades. I just had disease. So I'll have to make do with that. Anyway. There's a rifle. <laughs> we'll go in from this side, see if we can't get them at range. Hardy one, aren't you? I'm gonna come back to you though. So we'll take care of the three of these guys. If it's just the three, you had more mercenaries. Than these clowns. There's not much in here, really. This is definitely worth it. I'll take that.
here's what we're after. The mysterious serum. You have a couple different options that you can do. We're gonna travel back to Cabot House. So you have a couple different options to do with this serum. Option one, you can use it and then tell him that it's gone, to which you will get a hundred caps. Option two, you can tell him, you can pass a speech check there too, and basically the, that there was any left when you got there. To which you will only get 100 caps, uh, same as if you used it. Or you can give him the serum. You'll get 100 caps for finishing the quest, but you'll also get another 50 for giving him the serum. I'm going to be siding with Lorenzo at the end, so I'll just give him the serum. It's going to be a little bit better than... Well, be, uh, it'll be better to side with Lorenzo for me. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother! Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward has better things to do than sending someone out to find Imogene. Again. If your father were here, he'd send someone to find Imogene. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene decided to take a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? 